Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Guthels, and this is our Debugging Your Next.js project video series. Let's get started. My colleague Lazar and I have come up with this video series to give you an overview of everything you need to know to get started in debugging and monitoring your Next.js application. In this series, you will find the following topics addressed. What monitoring is, how to set up your Next.js project with Sentry, how to configure your source maps so that you can get the exact line of code that is causing the issue, how to add event context and custom tags so that you can more easily group and find issues that are affecting your users, how to set up alerts and issue assignments so you can more quickly address issues and get them resolved, how distributed tracing works with Sentry and Next.js applications, how you can leverage session replay for Next.js applications and more, Let's go ahead and get started on what monitoring is. As I mentioned, this will be a very quick overview of what monitoring is. If you'd like more details, there'll be a link in the description down below with further resources for you to explore. So before we talk about what monitoring is, let's talk about what can often happen. There may be a poor user experience on your website. This could be many things. It could be that um, a library that you're using is no longer functional in the same way that you expected it to be. It can be that a server is down or other services are down. It could be that there was an actual error that was pushed into your application that you didn't realize. Or it could be that your users are using your application in a way that you didn't expect them to, causing an error. Regardless, every application at some point has some kind of poor user experience, which results in the user being frustrated. Oftentimes, by the time developers get to the point of resolving the issue, they're a little bit too late. And what do I mean by too late? This could mean that you are having customers churn and no longer use your application. It could be that customers are complaining loudly on social media about the challenges of your application or the slow performance of your application. Or it could be that your support team is getting inundated with the same ticket over and over again when you already know what the issue is and you just haven't had a chance to resolve it yet. So what monitoring is, is a way to identify and hopefully find the cause to issues that are affecting your users before too many users become frustrated by it. If you use Sentry monitoring, then instead of having your users detecting issues and inundating your support team or going to social media to cause a stir, uh, the software, specifically Sentry, will detect the issue. This might be from errors being triggered. It could be from performance regressions. It could also be from users. In fact, we recently launched a user feedback widget that allows users to report any issues happening on your application without having a software error associated with it. After Sentry detects the issue, developers are able to use the contextual information that Sentry provides to identify and resolve the issue, and hopefully the majority of your users never even know that that issue happened. Specifically, Sentry is a developer-first platform. What this means is we try to make sure that developers are able to take action when an issue is raised. This could be through our source maps and actually identifying the line of code that is likely the culprit for the issue being triggered, or with things like code owners so that you don't have to spend time tracking who might be the best person to fix this bug and the software will do it for you. Throughout this video series, you'll hear us call out other ways that Sentry puts developers first, as well as give an overview of all the different features that you can leverage to find and fix errors and deliver a consistently good experience for your users.